As for the video that I promised uh, <laughs> on one of the previous videos, I uh, I said, uh, hey, I got this whole page of this stuff that's really good and I want to make a video about it. Well, this is deep. I'm going to be diving deep here. This is going to be a lot to cover, even though it doesn't look like much. So, when it comes to the reality like I said, it's, it's an illusion. It's an energetic illusion of everything is you pushed out. Uh, the one way that you can think of, of the uh, illusion, the, the reality, is uh, one word that uh, Jesus uses he uses is he, he says, Lord. And there's uh, nine out of ten times that Jesus is saying, Lord, he's talking about law. And uh, logos, which is also... Christ is me is the meaning behind some most people think that it just means word but it's it's the meaning behind just the word like in a previous video I I mentioned about how it's a uh, it's not literal it's serious but it's not literal and then there's something beyond the uh, apparent surface level that there's a meaning behind it there's a meaning behind it like I w went into uh, an intermaz uh, Inter Maseroth evolutions, what the meaning is, I go into that about what the meaning is. Uh, a, a few other terms could be called God, Father, Abba, Heaven, Imagination, Cosmos, Infinite, Infinite, Atman. Atman is the Hindu term for awareness because, uh, according to the Hindu uh, world worldview, is that even consciousness is not primary. Uh, the, the next level below consciousness is just pure awareness, uh, awareness that's aware of itself, which is everything. Uh, a, a couple of ways that this has been framed as in natural law, dharma, cosmic law, objective reality. These are ways of framing these other ideas. But the, all that just breaks down to this. That which is, this is a bullet point. Another bull, bullet point is how things are. Another bullet point to this is the current state of things. That's how you can frame, and this is all this concept, not these particular terms, but this concept is coming from Mark Passio. He makes it very ridiculously simple because he says people overcomplicate it. People overcomplicate it, and he's absolutely right. People overcomplicate. What is reality? It's simply the current state of things. That's what that which has transpired that contributes to what's happening now. That's the current state of things. That's reality. Even though it's a, an, an illusory, an energetic illusion, it's the current state. That is the current state of things. But that's why I'm bringing this to you is that the, the state can change and it's all up to you. And, uh, and if you think you roll your eyes and you think, oh man, that's bogus. You know, that's, that's why things don't change. You know, there, there are people out there that uh, they think it's okay to, to make little remarks at people and uh, because they don't see any immediate, any immediate effects like I go into another video about before is that everything you do, everything you do, everything you think, everything you feel, everything you did makes an impact at some point. And whether or not, like say you do something to somebody else, they may not retaliate, but you will feel it, you know, there will be an effect even if they don't decide to do anything about it, there will be an effect. Trust me on this. It's, it's called natural law, dharma, cosmic law, objective reality. Reality doesn't care that you didn't mean to be a jerk. Reality doesn't care. That's what Mark Passio will say. He, and he's absolutely right. Because if you compare objective reality to what's known as physics, one of the laws of physics is gravity. If you, if you decide to go over to a cliff and walk over the edge, gravity does not care that you did not intend to do that. Gravity does not care that you if you didn't understand how the law works. It doesn't care. It's going to work regardless. And this all that is coming from Mark Passio. But the current state of things, and this is also from Mark Passio, but I'm, I'm sharing his message because so many people tune out on him and obviously so I, I'm not I'm not dismissing that because he's he's rather intense more intense than I am and uh, 
you know, most people can't handle that because their ego, they take it personally that they're like as a personal attack instead of, uh, you know, I keep getting these readings and these other messages, you know, like, um, people, you know, people that I feel bothered by, I try to learn from them if there's a way that I can, instead of just being upset by how they act, you know, that's, that's where we're a lot of people out there are getting lost, you know, and, uh, if I have to sugarcoat it or uh, pad the uh, material, that's not doing you any service. You know, that's that's not doing anybody any service. But if you're left brain dominant, you're not going to understand that you're 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 in bondage is what's going on. If you're left left brain dominant, and, and most people that will tune into my channel are probably right more right brain dominant than left brain dominant. And uh, the, the ones that are left brain dominant probably will avoid it like the plague. If, if you're the type of person that's a, a, a dominating, domineering person and uh, you make you like making little comments and you take pride in uh, referring to yourself as a, uh, uh, you know, my second language is, is uh, what do you call a uh, sarcasm? you're probably not going to like my channel <laughs> or if you, if you take pride in identi self identifying as an asshole, you're definitely not going to like my channel. Uh, and, uh, the reason why I say that is because there's no virtue in that, you know, just, just because you want to feel different, you know, that there's no virtue in that, you know, you may as well let that go, let it go, drop it drop it be dare to assume that you're the person that you want to be instead of this person that you're boxing yourself into you know don't go and watch a, a wrestling match or a baseball game or a football game come back here and start listening to what i got to say you know don't tune out and and uh dull your senses and uh you know take uh take c consider taking up my course which should be <laughs> Which should be coming out soon. I don't know how, how, how long that's going to be. But back to this, uh, the current state of things. This is also from Mark Massio. The current state of things is slavery. Slavery. We are enslaved. That includes me too. Well, who are we enslaved by? We are enslaved by the mind-controlling elect. Most people call them Illuminati. That's a joke. Stop calling them Illuminati. You're, you're spreading disinformation. We are illuminated. There's a light that goes in our eyes, goes to our brain. It's a joke that the whole re the whole thing started because they knew that people would jump on a band bandwagon, and they don't call themselves elite. Elite is a uh, is a special forces military unit. That's elite. Stop calling them elite. They're not the global elite. They're they're anything but the elite. What they call themselves is the elect. I'm not going to tell you where what my source is on this because. Well, it's, it's too much to go into, and it would be very difficult for you to understand and believe. But they don't call themselves the elite. They don't call themselves the global elite. They call themselves one of two things. One is they call themselves the old religion. That's coming from Mark Passio. But they also call themselves the elect because guess who elected them? Themselves. The, the royal family uh, that's been around for forever, the governments that have been in place of, of power forever, they call themselves the elect. Can you not put that together? Stop calling them elite. They're, they don't even call themselves the global elite. They just, t t they take it with a, a chagrin that you, uh, everyone out there calls them the elite. Stop calling them the global elite. They're anything but elite. They call themselves the elect because they are elected by themselves. I, who, who's in charge? Me. I'm in charge because they're psychopaths. They're left brain dominant. But they're primary psychopaths. All of you that are out there that are left left brain dominant, you uh, are likely secondary psychopaths. I, I promise you that. You got nothing on these guys, and you may consider me a conspiracy theorist. This is the only thing that I'm going to mention that it has anything to do anything remotely close to conspiracy theory type material. But they're the mind controlling elect, and. Uh, also known as bondage, another another ver uh, another way of saying slavery is bondage. Bondage means you're bound by your vices, as in controlled by your vices. You you want to go watch a uh, a football game, you want to go and uh, uh, drink alcohol, you know, uh, 
I, I've got my own vices. I'm not immune to this. That's what I'm saying. We're all enslaved, all of us. But you're also in bondage by your judgments, as in your negativity, your pessimism. As a, 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 a judgment does not mean necessarily a, a negative thing. A judgment means that you deem so, one thing as acceptable and another thing as unacceptable, which means you're identifying with your ego, casting judgments on things. Now, of course, when it comes to evil, you have to cast a judgment on that. You have to denounce evil. But uh, bondage is being bound by your vices and your judgments. So the state is... No, the current state of things is not freedom, and it's not liberty. Liberty, it's mind control. And why I'm saying that is because 8019.1 is my own personal ori original idea and theory that I came up with. And uh, I thought that, that it was quite a, an original idea. And uh, but 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 when, when I, even when I was sitting down working on this, I realized. Man, Tom, you don't have a lot of original ideas, do you? <laughs> and I thought, well, yeah, that may be true, Thomas, but how many other people out there that are, aren't having original ideas, whereas they could be? And the reason why we're not is because it's not because we don't have an imagination. Think about this for a second. If, if you didn't have an imagination, you would never have an original thought. But guess what's happening? Our imagination is stifled because of the mind control. And if, if you don't think if you don't think that's so, then you're you're delusional. But uh, Neville Goddard will say Christ is your own wonderful human imagination, and that's absolutely true. I haven't gone into this yet, but uh, it's necessary now. So guess what's going to set you free? What's going to set you free is the truth, and the truth is your own wonderful human imagination has the key, has the power. Now, you, your, your ego has a place of deciding what you want to do with that imagination. Your personality says, oh, I want this, I want that, I want this. And, and if, it's, if it's in alignment and in harmony with uh, natural law, whereas it doesn't cause anyone else harm, then you are free to become it. Don't let somebody else, uh, the mind control master elect, uh, tell you what's acceptable and unacceptable because that's their judgments. So, like I said, this was going to be a long video, but uh, incidentally, I, I covered all of this stuff. I'm, I'm kind of impressed with myself. But uh, Mark Basio calls it natural law. Another word for this is dharma, cosmic law. Objective reality is the current state of things. And the current state of things is slavery. We, we're enslaved. We're enslaved. Even if you don't if, – if you think of uh, uh, slavery as in like in shackles, well, then you, you, you're – just because it's convenient to ignore the reality that is the fact that we are enslaved, if if you if you bypass it by just thinking that, then you then you're very unfamiliar with what the idea of slavery is. Slavery means you do what you're told, plain and simple. And and I see everybody, you know, you, not only everybody doing this, but so many more people everyone everyone just going along with it we need to break this spell of bondage we need to break it but i, I just wanted to bring that to you to you uh today that, that uh reality as it is is an illusion even the slavery it's an illusion that you can break you can break this illusion by daring to assume that you're a free person free to have your own thoughts free to have your own original thoughts like i did 8019.1 is not something that I got out of a book. 8019.1 is not something that I got from somebody else. I th I dared to assume I'm the type of person that can come up with something new. And I uh, I rectified this whole idea that came from my father, I, I just, I, which I'm going to go into. This Sunday, I, I am going to have a video on 8019.1. And I dared to have an original thought. I dared to. I dared. I, I was brazen enough to say enough is enough i'm gonna have my own original thought and it came it came anyway because i was daring to assume i was the type of person that could create an online course and um my mind was generating these ideas and along the way i decided or my 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 mind decided tom you need to look into this there's something here there's something here that you have a part to play in so I did. I dared to assume that that was my place. 
and here we are. Here we are today. I'm, I'm bringing 8019-1 to you, and uh, it's not something that I got from anywhere else. I got it from the universe. The universe gave this as a gift to me that I'm sharing this gift with you because it's not, it's not a game. It's not a game and it's not a joke. But uh, what is a joke is what's been going on. You know, I'm not telling you to stop going to work, but if you can help it, if if I could encourage you to do what what you want, what you what your ambition is. Do you do you want to go and uh, climb a mountain? Go and do that. Like even if you don't have the things that you need, start small. Start small. You will get there. You will get there. Just like I did this. I, I didn't start off with just the channel they're ready to have. I had to do I had to make small steps, but those small steps paid off immediately and uh, and and a way will be made. So uh, objective reality is this. We're enslaved. We're in bondage, but it doesn't have to be that. It doesn't have to be this way. You can dare to assume that you're a free thinking individual. Dare to assume that you're a free thinking individual. And like I said earlier uh, on another video, if you're going to dare to assume to be anyone, why don't you dare dare to assume to be the best and 80, 19, one person. And you can go back into my uh, playlist of my, my, uh, my videos. And uh, there's a video that's called being an 80, 19, one person. And uh, actually I'm going to touch on that too uh, this Sunday because I, I'm, 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 I've got the uh, origin story of the uh, video already made for uh, where 8019-1 came from, but I'm, I'm going to make a, sec a second uh, a secondary full disclosure video all about 8019-1. Th this is the basics. This is the intermediate. This is the advanced, essentially. I I'm not probably not going to sector it out like that in, in that format. Excuse me. But it's going to be two videos coming out, at least two videos this Sunday, which is going to be the 8019-1 origin and also all about 8019-1, which I'm probably going to record right now, as a matter of fact, because I've got this new phone. It holds a little bit more of a uh, little bit more videos uh, uh, that I can uh, have backlogged ready to upload. And uh, I just want you all to know that objective reality does not care. If you're daring to assume, if you're assuming that you're you're a um, a mindless zombie and that uh, hey, I'm just going to do what the world tells me to, I don't care. The universe doesn't care. Objective reality doesn't care. As as long as you're not violating the rights of another person, when it comes to that, the universe will do something about it. There, there's cause, there's effect. That's not that hasn't gone anywhere. But I, I just want you all to know this and understand this that there is a very simple way of explaining reality. There's a very simple way of explaining reality uh, and also what what part we have to play in it and also a very simple way of changing that. And that's this. That, that there's no there's no better way. This is the the number one best right way to do that. Just like I said there's a number one best right way to do anything with quotidian choices which is an excellent video also, by the way. I, there's gonna be, there's probably going to be a lot of videos that I, I, I self-reference throughout the course of these videos. So y'all may as well get ready to, uh, you know, every time I upload a video you're, you're, uh, and you miss it, you might think, oh, man, I missed out on that. Oh, well, I'll just look forward to the next video. Well, uh, at some point you're going to have to catch up because I'm not going to stop making videos, <laughs> for one. And for another thing, I'm, I'm going to have a lot of things that I'm going to discuss and be, be discussing that you're going to want to know about from before to understand the current things now. But uh, that's all I got for you now. And, uh, of course, you already know what I'm about to say. If you've been here before, you are loved. You are loved. You are so loved.